Hello, the entire world. Hope you have a lovely day. So, we have this inverter which came in as no, uh, as no power. So, this is a power inverter, 500 watts, model 5 star. FS-1003. Uh, what I would do, the power Power supply is on top there. We have uh, some readings from the linear power supply. It's 11.19, around 2.2 amps. Let's lower the current, 1.9, and uh, 12 volts. So let's inject 12 volts uh, on the input. We have the input here, like red, that the plus, the minus. And here we have the output AC. Inverters, they are easy to fix. Here we have a switch, no light, no anything, it's just dead. That is the problem with this inverter. So, how this thing is working? Huh? It's very simple. We have the battery. This, this black and black and red for the plus and minus. Those are the wires which are going to the battery. So from the battery, we have um, the 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 MOSFET driver, which is changing DC to 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 AC. And after the driver, we have. Um, a step up transformer which is stepping up that AC voltage into 200 something volts and uh, after the transformer we have the output it's very simple and the transformer is being switched by usually n channel MOSFETs the, that is the simplicity of, uh, of an inverter so Let's open this. We need to fix this in in few minutes. Because well, I don't think we have a big problem here. All the screws are out. The top cover is coming out. So, basically that's the inverter. That the inside of the inverter. We have two step up transformer. We have some MOSFETs. We have MOSFETs here. When we do have this chip, probably that's the driver. And we have the output. So what we can check here diode mode let's check for short on the input but we checked with the power supply there was no short there we do have some fuse here two fuse this fuse is gone and this fuse is gone You can see those two purple, purple fuses, or oh, they are they are gone. Well, the fuse must be like this. So now the question is: Is this only the fuse, or we have something else?
So let's take out the motherboard and see if there's something else apart from those fuses. Let me take out the board. So this is our inverter. That's the board for the inverter. You can see this board. This is the board for inverter. We have four MOSFETs on the plus and another four MOSFETs on the minus. And we have the step up transformer. Mm. So we have those two paper, those two paper fuse, fuses in parallel mode. So I'll check from this far end here. Was a fuse should be like this, and this fuse is blown up. What we can check on this board, we check MOSFETs. Why the fuse is blown up? Maybe we have a like a blown up MOSFET or something else. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm checking MOSFETs. And all MOSFETs are good. Let's do a simple test. It's very simple. Let's connect the the let's connect the AC let's connect the 12 volts DC let's supply 12 volts to this inverter What I want to do, I'll stick two probes on the output here. Because here we have output AC. If the inverter is working, we have 200 something volts here. So, what I'll do, I'll bridge the inverter with a tweezer, just like this. I want to see if this inverter will come to life. Okay, I'm on DC, sorry. Let's do it one more time. And it's 222. You can see on the screen. So this circuit is working fine. We only have problem with the with the fuse. Check there on this on the multimeter 223 AC. So we are saved. What a lucky day. Huh? So let's come with our own fuse there. Yeah, if fuse is a wire. So if you if you are to look for another fuse, you can do it, but What I understand is just a fuse is just a one.
So I need to come with the our own fuse there. I didn't expect an inverter to have a simple fold like this. I was expecting to see like blown up MOSFETs. Uh, this this board is too is too high, so I want to help with the with the use of what a. That's perfect. What else do you want? What else do you want? So let me put it all together and we'll do the final tests. That was just a blown up fuse. Yeah, that's a, that's a lucky day. Just to have a, a blown up fuse on the input. Whatever the fault, inverters there is to fix. Because in most cases, you, you have problem with the With the MOSFETs. When you see blown up fuse, in most cases on inverters, MOSFETs are gone. You find one or two MOSFETs blown up. But that was an easy one. Just to come with our own calibrated fuse and the inverter came back to life. The final test is very important. Final test is very important. Uh, on you can see the green light and it's taking 247 247 milliamps let's check the output voltage okay let me do this let me first stick up these probes here inside My probes are not touching properly. Check. 
Check on the screen, 222 volts. 222 volts. I can hear this, the sound of this fan spinning inside. So, this inverter is now output. And we draw the light here. The green light. You can see that green light. Yeah. It's now working fine. So that was the problem. Finally, we managed to fix the inverter in less than 20 minutes. So like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. And see you on the next game. Bye.